Nishan, just allow me this uh, question. Sure. Another question on Pakistan. Babur Asam, one of your finest products uh, in uh, Pakistan. He's now the ODI captain as well as the T20 captain. And that's probably uh, the highest point uh, in your career uh, uh, coach in Pakistan. But one of the lowest uh, points is uh, Umar Akmal. Now he's been banned also. So just talk <laughs> us uh, about Babur Asam. Ramit, and I need to add to that. Umar I, Akmal. I need to add yes. add- I need to add to that. I need to add to that. That was one of the questions I was going to ask Mickey. Because, see, Mickey, talking to some of our players, they tend to tell you that you have a way about managing people. That your style is easy and, you know, the players like, they feel like doing their best for you. Now, coming from such a backdrop and background, how come that Umar Akmal was never a success under you and you could kind of never turn him around. If you, I, I actually had a brief chat with Uma when I was in Pakistan because I rated him very highly. And I asked him, what's wrong with you? And one of the things he told me was, Mickey never plays me. I asked him, why? <laughs> he doesn't like me. I, I'm being honest, right? I'm being honest. I'm letting you, letting you explain your side of the story. Why? Because, see, question is that you having a way with people, managing people so well, Whilst Barbar Azam is a success, I mean, it's easy to explain successes, but what is difficult is to talk about where did it go wrong with this guy, Umar? Well, I think Umar is in the best position to answer those questions. Um, and, and I'm not going to talk, I'm not talking out of turn. Umar mm-hmm. Akmal is his own worst enemy. Umar Akmal, in terms of standards that required to play at international level, was nowhere, any, anywhere near the standard required. He's he he's going to look back on his career now as a wasted talent, and we've seen we we've just seen what's happened with Umar Akmal. That that was the, he was a, he was a train smash waiting to happen everywhere everywhere he went. The thing with Umar Akmal is he constantly looks for other people to blame instead of actually just sitting down with himself, having a look in the mirror, and deciding what he wanted to do with his career. Now he had undoubted amounts of talent, but he did not fit into the team culture that we were trying to create and that was because of 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 him it was certainly not because of the system we d- we developed a lot of a lot of really good young players and 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 for, i know i'm sitting on a high horse here but for umar akmal to say that rashan just tells me ex- and and should tell you exactly exactly where he is it's easy i know mickey doesn't like me i like any <laughs> player that can win games of cricket me. Any, any player that can win, win games of cricket, I'm going to play. And, and, and I will take a, a massive interest in them. And, you, can, they, you know, there's, there's, lots of, there's lots of cricketers through my coaching career like that. I will take a massive uh, um, interest in them and push them to be the best they can be and, and make sure that they fulfill their talents. Umar Akmal, I'm afraid, didn't want to fulfill his talent. He always wanted to be an individual. He always wanted to be his own man. And that didn't fit the, the, the culture that I was creating with the Pakistan team. To, now to the success, Baba Azam, you know, Baba Azam, is, he, he's just a, a wonderful player. I actually just uh, had a call with him quickly just to congratulate him. And um, he is, like, his hands, the, the way he bats, the work ethic that Baba Azam puts into his cricket, the way he trains. Baba Azam spends seven hours a day training. He comes in, in the, uh, when, when we're not on tour, not playing, Baba Azam comes into the, into, into the high performance center. He'll do a cardio session. He then has breakfast. He then, he then will go and do his weight training. He then has a little bit of a break. Then he has lunch. And then for two and a half hours in the afternoon, he's got net bowlers and bowling machine lined up and he's hitting balls. That, so it, it's, no, it's no coincidence that he's become the best he can be. And the best Bob Azam can be is, uh, is certainly, in my, in my view, in the top three batsmen in the world cricket across all three formats. So there are two parallels. And, and, and the funny thing about that, Rashan, is they're cousins. They, they're cousins. They're from the same family. We see one guy that is so driven and wait. so determined to be the best he can be <laughs> And we and we see yeah. totally the opposite from 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 another player. So uh, yeah, mind baffling. But Umar Akmal's his own worst enemy. 
Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the bell icon for our latest content.